morning. It's February 6th, and this is your daily brief in science. Here's everything you need to know. A groundbreaking study published in Nature Climate Change by Dr. Amos Winter of Indiana State University is challenging the established timeline of human caused global warming. This research, leveraging oceanic sponges off the coast of Puerto Rico, suggests that the world has already warmed by at least 1.7 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels, a figure that surpasses the previously agreed threshold of 1.5 degrees. By proposing that the pre-industrial era be redefined to the 1700s, Dr. Winter's study shifts the baseline used for climate change measurements and indicates that global warming began earlier than current models assume. The revelation has ignited a debate among scientists, given the uncertainties and limitations inherent in the data. Despite these controversies, there's a consensus on the urgency of the situation. The study is seen as a clarion call for immediate global action against climate change. The findings highlight the dire need for international cooperation to mitigate the worsening impacts of global warming. As the planet warms by every fraction of a degree, the consequences become increasingly severe, underscoring the critical importance of addressing this global challenge head-on. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is stepping into the future of particle physics with its proposal for the Future Circular Collider, or FCC. This ambitious project is set to dwarf the current Large Hadron Collider, being at least three times its size with a circumference spanning 90 to 100 kilometers and boasting energy levels up to 100 TV. The FCC aims to push the boundaries of our understanding, focusing on unraveling the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy, areas where the Large Hadron Collider has hit its limits. This move has sparked a debate, with critics pointing to the massive financial investment required and the environmental implications amidst a global climate crisis. Despite these concerns, CERN highlights the FCC's design for efficiency, promising a smaller carbon footprint and lower energy consumption than its predecessors. As the organization seeks feedback from its 70 member nations, the world watches closely. The decision to move forward with the FCC could mark a new era in our quest to understand the universe, with construction potentially starting in the 2040s. Researchers at Columbia University have made a startling discovery in the world of bottled water. Their study has found that popular bottled water brands contain hundreds of thousands of previously undetected nanoplastics. These particles are so small they could potentially enter the bloodstream and disrupt cellular processes. Utilizing advanced laser-guided technology, the team was able to detect and analyze seven different types of plastic particles that had gone unnoticed until now. The presence of nanoplastics in human tissues and bodily fluids has already been confirmed but the full scope of their health implications remains a mystery. The study points to plastic packaging and the bottling process as the likely sources of this nanoplastic contamination. This revelation not only raises concerns about the safety of consuming bottled water, but also strengthens the environmental case for choosing tap water instead. As the world grapples with the pervasive issue of plastic pollution, these findings underscore the urgent need for more research. Understanding the potential health risks associated with consuming bottled water that contains high levels of nanoplastics is crucial. This study marks a significant step in acknowledging and addressing the unseen dangers lurking in what many consider a safe, convenient beverage choice. A recent study by the American Heart Association has highlighted the potential of the weight loss medication terzepatide to significantly reduce blood pressure in adults with obesity. Over an eight-month period, 500 adults taking terzepatide experienced an average systolic blood pressure reduction of 7.4 to 10.6 millimeters of mercury. This reduction was consistent both during the day and at night, with nighttime blood pressure, a known strong predictor for cardiovascular death, also seeing a decrease. The study, which was funded by Eli Lilly and involved 600 participants, reported weight loss of up to 22% among those taking the medication. Tirzepatide works by mimicking two metabolic hormones in the body and has received FDA approval for the treatment of type 2 diabetes and chronic weight management in individuals with obesity or overweight. However, the study did note limitations, emphasizing the need for further research to explore the long-term impact on cardiovascular events 
and the effects on blood pressure after the medication is discontinued. Given that hypertension was a primary or contributing cause of over 691,000 deaths in the U.S. in 2021, and nearly half of U.S. adults have hypertension or are on medication to lower blood pressure, tirazepatide presents a promising avenue for those battling obesity and related health conditions. Astronomers have recently made an exciting discovery, identifying a new super-Earth named TOI-715b, orbiting a red dwarf star just 137 light-years away from us. This newly discovered planet is 1.55 times the size of Earth, and intriguingly, it's located within the star's habitable zone. This positioning increases the interest in TOI-715b's potential for hosting life. In the same system, another planet, TIC 271971130.02, roughly the size of Earth, has also been spotted, suggesting a more complex planetary system around red dwarfs than previously thought. The findings, published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, could provide significant insights into how planets form and evolve around red dwarf stars. Notably, TO1715b's location within the small planet radius gap suggests it may have lost mass due to photoevaporation, a process that could be crucial for understanding planetary development. This makes TOI-715 be a prime candidate for observation by the James Webb Space Telescope, particularly to analyze its atmosphere. Such studies could offer clues about the planet's composition and its potential habitability. Moreover, the central star's low magnetic activity and the absence of significant flaring characteristics often associated with younger M-dwarfs, are seen as promising signs for the habitability of planets in this system. This makes the TOI-715 system an important target for further study, holding the potential to provide valuable insights into the conditions that could support life on exoplanets. This has been your Daily Brief in Science. To read more about these stories, follow the links in the episode bio. You can also subscribe to these updates via email at www.brief.news. For more daily podcasts about the topics you love, visit brief.news forward slash podcasts. Tune in tomorrow. We'll be back with everything you need to know.